how your work life can dysregulate you and ruin your relationship. Your company or corporate culture does this deliberately to condition you into a space of sympathetic nervous system response. This is a fight or flight instinctual primal response for us to basically perform. Your work thinking that they want to make you competitive put crazy deadlines upon you, make you work crazy hours, overextend yourself, betray your own boundaries, praise and worship the company's mission and values that you start to enmesh with it, that it starts to overtake your sense of self. You have this togetherness with the company, which overrides your own sense of self in your personal life. When personal life and work life have no boundaries, we create a sense of self which depends upon the other. This is extremely unhealthy. Imagine that that dependence upon that corporate hierarchy is making you compete with one another, making you instead of rest and digest in a parasympathetic state, instead please and seize opportunity. We become selfish, self-centered, rigid, unopen-minded. We're judged upon our performance and achievement rather than just be. Of course, this leads down a line of molding ourselves to wear personas, masks, or perform as something in a company that's not truly and up. you as a woman in a very patriarchal system is likely going to have to adapt into your wounded feminine and become more masculine, where you start to not honour your healthy feminine, which is nurturing, caring, creative, radiant. You're needing to be cold, relentless, decisive, competitive instead, just to survive. Now, The Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl is a beautiful book that basically describes this at the radical point of view, using Hitler, the SS, and the horrible situation with the Jews and the concentration camps. With the delusion of reprieve, which Viktor Frankl says, is you having faith that you'll be promoted one day, that this suffering or this dysregulation will end one day. So you'll stay doing the tasks at work. You'll stay in this company culture, hoping things will change. Now, this is where the beautiful test, where the great human beings are made out from the weak. Do you choose to repent? or do you choose to resent? Now the most sadistic characters and why evil exists even in our Marvel superhero movies, just in the Doctor Strange movie that recently passed, Wanda, who had lost her loved one Vision, chose to resent the planet for what she'd lost. She became this evil Scarlet Witch, which wanted to take out her own pain upon others, and so instead inflicted pain on others in order to escape her own emotional turmoil to get what she wanted. She would do anything, even if it meant the suffering of another human being. And as Frankl said, we find meaning in being curious about a new option. We find meaning in faith that there is more to expect from life. Those that had not expected anything more from life ended up taking their own And lives. hold on to the actual reality that there are compassionate human beings with beautiful souls and hearts who are ready to willingly accept you. That goes for other corporations who have beautiful cultures rather than nurture you to compete and divide. So sometimes it may not be your doing that you're becoming dysregulated and a monster in your relationships. Sometimes it's actually the environments you put yourself in. So be careful what external environments create dysregulation, this apathy, this instinctual primal dysregulation that you don't deserve to be in. Comment below if you've had any issues at work and how they spill into your relationships. I'd love to hear it.